Kirby. He, did you see that? He actually put the pronunciation in his tag name. Good stuff to you. Thank you. Hilarious. All right, so moving into game one, I think that one thing that is going to be pretty important from uh, Jark here is ooh, using Kirby's small size. Uh, Snake has ways to hit grounded opponents, but it's like a, a little bit limited being a taller character and all. I definitely feel like Kirby's size will play a, uh, a little bit more of an important ooh. role uh, in the Snake matchup, but I also think because of that, part, partly to his weight. Yeah, no, his, 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 I was about to say, but that up tilt almost killed. Where did it come from? Did Why? It, it, it went up his butt, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Just surprise, surprise enema. Uh. Darren shield, not much after. <gasps> the grenade! That trip is normally such a good thing for uh, Kirby to land. It can lead into smash attacks. Here okay. we are. Yeah, all right. He's on Rambo mode. <laughs> Kids have had their turn. It's a real man. <laughs> the duality of man, childhood oh. versus adulthood. Ooh, good C4 for a little bit of a safer recovery. And now the timers are running. We got stopwatches galore. Grenades flying around the screen like it's a dodgeball game in high school. <laughs> what kind of murderous games of dodgeball did you play? Dude, I don't... Every depiction of dodgeball in any form of media has been the most violent thing I've ever seen in my entire life. If you can life. dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. But if you can dodge a grenade. <laughs> but then when you see dodgeball in, like, real life, especially in, like, dodgeball tournaments, too, that stuff looks so fun. Those ex that's actually exist. Yeah. That's ha not like a Ben Stiller comedy. Concept. No, it's not. Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen like a trampoline dodgeball tournament? <laughs> have you ever seen a snake run all the way to down mm -hmm. smash you on ledge? Tech chases are my favorite thing in this entire game, dude. Oh well, my that's goodness! Something we're going to be getting a lot of in this matchup. Like snake, he's big swing. Whoa. Neutral tech not being able to catch. <laughs> do it! Do it! Yes. <laughs> Yo, why does it tilt? Have a. That's actually, so he, because he had grab invincibility, oh the hitboxes from the down throw ignited the grenade. And I, I feel like some characters can exploit that to combo off of it, but Kirby probably doesn't have the jump height to actually follow through. There are such simple things that my brain forgets in the matter of if it doesn't look like it should normally be happening, like in that scenario, <gasps> footstool, oh, Cypher's gonna shoot. Huge! Hit. Best friend Cypher, we tech those. Oh, in the snow. <laughs> Cypher, no swiping. Ooh, facing the wrong direction for that up tilt. Would have caught his roll, though, if he had uh, decided to uh, face inside stage. Down there, though, not going to get much out of it. Killing off platform with that up throw. That's the play. second time he's gotten that. I mean, the thing is, though, like, yeah, up throw on the platform, really good. Oh, um, my God, that's missile. Yeah. This is a hitbox size on that. That landed on the stage, right? I thought that landed just a little bit past the ledge. Possibly, I thought that's why it yeah. caught him. I mean... Would, it would, in a perfect world, that would not have been an on-stage hitbox. Of course, no. So, but then again, this is not a perfect this world. This is Encore so Esports. We'll Nothing is right. Nothing. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, that's how we love it. All right, but moving into game two, I feel like the platforms actually worked out really well for John Martin. So I think we still might see a stage that incorporates platforms that he could use for up throw and that sort of thing. Uh, I actually don't know where they picked. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, yep, a stage with a very centralized platform. However, though, it is Smashville, and I feel like this platform might benefit Snake and Eliakim gameplay Ooh. just a little bit more because of how much space that C4 can cover on that big platform as a whole. And I feel like that's also an issue that John Mark uh, faces in uh, just stage pick in general because we do have Hollowed Bastion now as a viable pick. So. If I'm if I'm Eli in this situation, I ban small battlefield and I ban PS2, and that gets rid of your your two platform stages, and it forces you to pick something with a more centralized focus. Um, oh, oh my goodness! I love this turnaround. Like okay. compare, I feel like the Smashville platform has actually been fantastic for John Mark because all of that damage was really from putting Eli Kim in disadvantage mm -hmm. and just taking it all the way to the bank. Oh, but now he's the one in control. Let's see how good John Mark is able to uh, get out of the corner here. Not really letting him get much off of this extra credit that he has. A little high on his stock percent, but it seems that John Mark has finally made his way back only to die to an F tilt that led. Yo, he, he learned that from John Mark. He down tilted <laughs> to low profile the forward air, and that's how he found that F tilt. That was brilliant. <laughs> 
Oh, that's actually so smart! Because normally Kirby's, that fact that that neutral B is a command grab is a great way to contest opponent shielding on the platform, but if the grenade is there, it actually is a punish. The thing's classified as a command grab? Oh yeah, Kirby inhale. I, I mean, he's sucking you up. Like, there are command grabs in this game where I'm like, I don't know about this one, dog, but I need to literally eating your opponent. Point. Sure. And again, Eli is kind of giving himself a little bit of, uh, of protection with C4. Um, kind of denying a lot of this uh, platform oh. trapping and camping that Jean-Marc may have uh, been planning for. Yeah, and I just want to give a quick, quick PSA. The C4 is on the left side, uh, just underneath the platform. Ah, I've spotted yeah. it now. Right where that grenade is a little bit. Oh. Yeah, yeah good job. Just recognizing where the C4 was. Uh, that's actually very interesting. I feel like a lot of the time Snake is able to actually cover, get up attack by going for an aerial. I think it's usually down air, so I'm not sure why he got hit just in that position. I think down air is one of Snake's best aerials, just out. It's just 22 damage or something like that. Outside like, of the damage itself, too, it's such a long-lasting hitbox. It's fast, like... It is, it's quite fast. Um, I also think Nair does really well, too. I think I think both of those moves do well, just in terms of the multi-hits, and, um, and also partly combo potential and kill potential, too, as well, because they're, they're hard to contest against, uh, especially in Kirby with this scenario, because you try to fight Nair, the only tool you really have is fair. Yeah. Suck. No way. You're not going to do He's this He's crazy, bro. Kill him. Uh, everybody's this. here. Everybody's alive. Nobody is here. There is no Smash Brothers. Oh! Nate to contest with up special. Oh. Again to contest with up special. I think that was actually smart. He specifically went for the up beat onto the grenade, realizing that he, he just needs to get some damage to bring this into a little bit more of an even game territory. And right there, getting hit by grenade is not going to kill him. So so far, Jean-Marc has been doing a great job climbing back from this percent deficit that he has. I think he's just sub 40 away from uh Ooh. from tying this thing up. Oh, there's a devil! Oh, oh my god! Ah, Did you know that was there? I knew that was there. I was I about know that to was give there. a PSA about it. It's, whenever I commentate a snake match, I always just have to like, you know, it's like one of those, it's 9 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? It's just like, <laughs> it's 9 o'clock. Do you know?